Hi, Julius here. Nowadays I'm a cinematographer first, but I do a lot of grading work too, which has to be my second favorite thing after working on set. I grade in DaVinci Resolve and I have accustomed pretty well in using keyboard shortcuts and my Wacom tablet to quickly get everything done in Resolve. I have used the Ben tablet all the way since I started with digital painting, even before photography, so working with a pen is something I'm totally happy with. What I have found missing though from my grading experience is a way to have all the controls right in my fingertips. I don't long for the tracking balls though because I'm so comfortable with my tablet, so this put me in an awkward position where I felt that paying for a proper controller board was a waste of money for me, considering it would cost over a thousand euros just to satisfy a feeling about something that I could do pretty comfortably with the equipment I already had. So after doing a lot of research and seeing what solutions other people have come up with, I decided to develop my own method in controlling DaVinci Resolve. Here is a MIDI controller from DJ Tech Tools, and it's called MIDI Fighter Twister. It consists of 16 knobs, which are buttons too, and three buttons on both sides for controlling the device. I used controller made by ordered bytes to program each knob to a specific action, basically either to a keyboard shortcut or mouse movement, made some changes in DJ Tech Tools software, and voila! I have now created a control panel, which can be combined with a Tango Triple later, to have a fully working controller setup on a budget. Now let me show you how I have mapped this, how we set it up, and then we'll do some grading together. So the mapping is based on three banks. The first bank has everything power window related. The second bank has hue, saturation and luminance qualifiers. And the third bank has basic color adjustments. Switching between the banks happens with the three side buttons, bank 1, bank 2 and bank 3. And what's special to this mapping is that the two lines here on the right side of the controller, these are actually universal buttons to all banks. Meaning that whether you're in the bank 1 or bank 2, these buttons do always the same function. These two switch between the next or previous clips, these do new nodes, new node, new node before the current one and parallel node. This disables the current node, this bypasses the whole grade and this the undo button. Now let's light this thing up. We put the cord in, the controller lights up, I'll open controller mate and then we quit so the virtual mouse does function. And now let's jump to DaVinci Resolve. Here I have a pre-made timeline from clips that I have in my new showreel. I chose this because we have different scenarios here. In this clip I have planned we'll do some skin smoothening. I'll start by adding a new node and we'll apply a circle window. I'll move the window to the correct position. Adjust the size. Now I'll want to actually highlight it so that I can see how the softening applies. So now I'll go do the softening here. I can still a little bit adjust the positioning of this window. We'll go to the third bank and in this knob we have the mid-tone detail. So I'll crank this down. So we'll zoom to the 100% and with this button we can actually toggle the grades on and off. Now this next shot, now we'll get to the bank 2 finally. So new note, um, here we don't need the window so undo that, but we need the new note, bank 2. I'll select the green color here, which I want to adjust here, and hit the highlight. Adjust the width, a little bit of the lower saturation. We'll want to clean the blacks and add some softening. Now 
and from here we can now jump to bank 3 and we can manipulate the hue like this, add some saturation and here's the before and after ok next one new node uh, here I want to use a linear window bring it up let's move it up let's adjust the softness bring these down move it up ok, let's go to the qualifiers oops, wrong button qualifiers and the width saturation blur radius bring the luminance a little bit down so that it doesn't affect the sky so much soften it up and now we can go ahead and use the Wacom so I'll give it some red and to the gain too and now we have this autumn look okay next shot here I have pre-selected this LUT and the LUT is applying pretty harshly to the whole grid so I'll move this up add a new node before that node now I want to crank the gamma up I'm in the third bank bring it up, bring it up and now I'll adjust the gain back down so I don't have so contrasty look and what I want to do here is add some saturation here too and with a parallel node make a window from here what my goal is is to have her hair a little bit brighter before the LUT is applied soften it whoops, now it did something funny so we can just undo that let's go to the third bank and now we can bring the gain and gamma up and let's see, now we just affect this current node so here's before here's after and let's finish this by tracking this window there we go okay next shot here I want to do something special okay so initially I had set really demanding requirements for a MIDI controller suitable for my project it had to have infinitely turnable knobs a bunch of buttons, different memory pages or banks and most importantly it had to be as compact as possible since I want to be able to travel with it too MIDI Fighter Twister fulfilled all of these wishes and on top of that has these customizable color lights feels super durable and has to have just one USB cord to power up overall I'm very happy that this setup ended up working as well as it did I have used it just a few days now and I have already memorized every knob and button thanks to the way I designed this layout based on DaVinci Resolve's own button layout so everything sits in a very logical place 
So, did you like my setup? Leave a comment below and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.